If you build a system using Corsair's IQ Link setup and then you find that you've got the triangle of doom or that your fans just aren't lighting up, I'm going to show you the solution to this problem. And don't worry, it's pretty straightforward. Now, IQ Link's really easy to customize and to throw loads of devices onto the controller and plug them in from various different ways. You can group the fans together nicely, daisy chaining them, interlocking them and connecting them up. And as you know, the controller for this is able to control multiple devices with just two ports one on either side. You do, however, need to make sure that you wire up the connections properly. So just to make sure you're aware of that, I've done a full in-depth guide on how to wire this system up. That I'll link to in the description. But for a quick overview, for the controller, you can plug in up to 12 devices per side. And then you need to connect up these other cables. So we've got the PCIe power, which is essential from your power supply unit. It's the same connection used for graphics card. USB, which is also essential to make sure you can control it with IQ. And then the CPU fan header, assuming you're using an AIO. The PCIe power is this six pin power cable, which is the same one you use for a graphics card. So you need to make sure you've got a spare one of these on your power supply unit. If you haven't, you might want to upgrade your PSU during the installation of the IQ setup, get a better one that includes enough power cables that you can do this. You can then wire in the system pretty effectively with that straightforward logic. Now, as I said, this controller can now manage up to 12 devices per port, but historically it could only do seven. You need a firmware update first, and that's important. That's the most important part of this. If you find that your fans aren't lighting up properly, it's probably because you need a firmware update. You get this firmware update from IQ, but what I found was I had to uninstall my version of IQ and go and download the latest version. This is quite often the case, of course, as software, it's better to just download the latest version if ever you're having problems. Download the latest version and install it, and you should get a notification about new modules and a firmware update for your system. You'll then obviously need to run that firmware update and wait for it to happen. This is updating even old controllers. So even if you've got an old controller from a while ago, it'll update it with this firmware so that it will then work with more than seven devices on either side. So if you've daisy chained in 10 devices, for example, then you should find that this will fix that problem. The other thing to bear in mind is if you have the display like I do with the Triangle of Doom, that could well be because you haven't got the USB connection. So you need a USB connection from the radiator to the USB header on your motherboard for that. If you do that and this firmware update, you should then find that all the fans light up nicely and the display works as well. And you can see everything in IQ and adjust it all in there. Hopefully you found this useful. If you'd like to see more in-depth view of the IQ system and how to set it up, check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.